the valedictorian of the class of 1996, Craig M. Mullaney. We will graduate college as the last class of this millennium. We are the leaders of the next century. Craig Mullaney is an exemplar of the next great generation of Americans. Our soldiers who are fighting uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq. I remember being a freshman and typing Craig Mullaney in Google, just being sort of wowed by all the things he had accomplished. It's kind of weird to know that part of your life is, is forever encapsulated in words in a book. It's pretty cool though. Oh God, that's the most horrible picture of me ever on the planet. <laughs> yeah. It's a soldier's book, but it's also a book for the rest of us. It is a classic coming-of-age story. This is um, his graduation from West Point, and this is Bridget's graduation from law school. Then Gary's from West Point. My dad was a a utility worker with a gas company. He was he was my hero. He could do. He could do everything. This is the story of a soldier's education, the story of a remarkable soldier's education. A young man who I met, I think, when he was a sophomore at West Point, uh, a little wet behind the ears still at that point. This is one of the more important awards that I've ever received. It's a beautiful sword. I never expected that my son who went to West Point had all these enjoyable times, now had a chance to die over there. As a mom, that was very hard. If you're looking for a good book, I recommend The Unforgiving Minute. One of the passages that I like the most of his fight with his superior officer. I knew that he was smart because he's a Rhodes Scholar. I thought, well, maybe he's too smart. And I read uh, the draft of Craig's book and I, and I read about leading up to the fight. If I had known he was so mad at his father, there's no way I would have started boxing him. The Afghan stuff is incredibly pertinent. The frustration he feels looking up at the Pakistani border. Well, that's exactly where we are today as we discuss our policy in Afghanistan. When we were in Afghanistan, it was, was Russian-style ambushes. It was, you know, it was firefights, it was engagements. Get down! Get down! The terrain is so much harder, you can't just, you know, engage the, the enemy like you, you could in Iraq. Being a leader, you, you love your men, you know, and a lot of people who haven't gone what we've been through, they don't understand that. They don't understand that you love your men, you love them like brothers. Ultimately, it comes back to family and social life, uh, which is not where most war memoirs end up. Craig really was afraid that something was going to happen to Gary. <laughs> 